Hi everybody, it's Jason from the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo and we're again in the Elephant Rhino Center and joined again by Malika. And for those of you who maybe haven't heard of Malika's story, I did want to recap what's been going on with Malika. Um, Malika broke her tusk a few weeks ago. It started out where um, she was getting a little bit excited in the morning and um, started spinning around in her um, one of her habitats and then there was this big horizontal or sorry vertical log about three feet in diameter that's propped up in her stall and then she decided to spin around and hit it with one of her tusks her left tusk you can see the one that's really short and so her tusk actually actually broke off at that point and so we we were we were fairly um, happy that it broke off kind of cleanly at that point but what happened a couple days later was she again used that same tusk just like many of us are left or right-handed, um, elephants can be left or right tusk, so they tend to choose one tusk over the other. And so she ended up using her left tusk again and actually cracked the remaining piece. And then we got a little more nervous because that can cause a, a different problem for an elephant. Um, the tusks are actually modified incisor, so it's actually a tooth, and they have a root and blood supply just like our teeth do as well. But once it cracked um, with the remaining portion that wasn't very long, we weren't exactly sure where it went. And so we did some x-rays with her. We also gave her some pain meds to make sure she wasn't uncomfortable. We started monitoring her blood work to make sure nothing was changing for her um, as far as health related um, in illnesses or things like that go. And we actually started her on some antibiotics in case she might not, so in case she might get under the weather with that. And then we started consulting with lots of experts around the country from zoo facilities as well as veterinary consultants. And so we were able to get a, a lot of information from those consultants as well as some information from Malika. The great thing from what we saw from Malika was is that she didn't actually care that her tusk was broken. It didn't seem sensitive to her. She's allowing us to actually flush that tusk in her sulcus or that tissue around the tusk every single day even from that second day right after it happened. And um, we saw from x-rays that maybe it's not quite into that pulp or root cavity. We're not 100% sure, but it definitely might not go all the way up there. And we're not seeing any kind of drainage, so that was some good information for us. And so consulting with other veterinarians, we decided to put a couple bands on there. So about a week later, we put um, one band on there. And then just to make sure that that band did it, if it came off in the night or when we weren't here, we decided to put a second one on there. And really what's happening with Malika's remaining tusk, it's a little bit hard to see, because I'm gonna tell you what we did just yesterday in just a minute. But her remaining tusk actually has this unstable piece on top. So the crack is kind of fractured above um, to make it into two pieces. And the top piece of that tusk is actually not stable. And so we put a couple of tusks or sorry, a couple of bands on there to actually put a little bit of stability back into that. Micah was saying there, hey, can you pay a little more attention to me? I'm not having um, any more of these treats out of this ball. But we were able to band that tusk up and keep it a pretty stable. And then just continuing our information from other consultants, we um, got the, got the, um, got some information that we should probably maybe just trim it back so that it could actually make it even more stable and less likely to be able to get caught on something else. Or if she tried to use it, it would be harder for her to be able to maneuver that remaining unstable piece on something like a log or one of her toys, that, like that ball she was just playing with. So just yesterday, we actually trimmed about two to three inches off that remaining tusk. And again, she was a super, um, willing participant in that in that procedure we'd actually never trimmed her tusk before so we weren't sure how she would participate but we were able to work through a session um, on and off the day during the day yesterday and actually trim that back a few inches and so now we're really happy with how that is going for her she has a little less um, tusk available to be able to kind of potentially cause any future damage until it starts growing out on its own and we're hopeful that that's exactly what will happen now with the two bands on there um, we'll be able to stabilize the remaining pieces until they kind of grow out on their own and naturally either fall out or we trim those off as well. We'll continue to monitor her health through blood work and just how she's doing every single day um, as far as behavior, appetite and things like that and how she's willing to work with the keepers. And we'll keep you guys posted as that, as that sort of develops. But for right now, that's where we're at with her tusk. Um, everything's been going great with that for her. Doesn't seem to be affecting her at all. You might have seen when we started the segment here that she was moving that big gray ball around on the floor. It's one of our great foraging opportunities, almost like right on cue. Good job, Malika. Um, there's actually some treats in there. So if any of you guys have pets at home and you might have Kong toys or things that you keep your um, pets at home like dogs busy, this is actually just the elephant sized version of a Kong toy 
for, for a big animal like Malika. And so there's one hole in there and then some great treats in there. She's got a little bit of elephant grain, um, even a couple of peanuts in there and some carrots that she's working that ball. She's got to use her trunk with over 100,000 muscles in there to be able to get that ball manipulated just right to get that food out of there. So this is one of the things that we give our elephants every single day. They get a variety of these different foraging opportunities throughout the day to be able to stay busy. And so we'll let Malika keep working on that to get her food out. Again, we wanted to give you an update on how it's going with Malika. Everything seems to be stable for now with her tusk. We just took a little bit off yesterday just to help keep it um, less likely from getting damaged um, when she's using that tusk, if she chooses to use that again. And we'll continue to keep you guys updated as things happen. And thank you again for joining us and hope to see you at the zoo sometime. You can come by and say hi to Malika. Have a great day, everybody.